Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings on you all. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick update and uh, clarification as to what's going on with FIBA. Last July, started a um, change.org change petition online, and we got 70,000 signatures uh, worldwide. Uh, just want to say, first of all, thank you to every single person that signed. Truly, without you, we could have not have done this. Thank you for your sweet, sweet, sweet words, uh, for the encouragement to continue, and saying that, you know, you had stopped playing basketball or another sport and you understand and uh, people that uh, didn't uh, wear hijab and they just said you know this is not right I, I love playing sports and I think that you should play from A to Z thank you to every single person on all seven continent continents that signed thank you so much it truly means the world to me and everybody else involved um, secondly we also want to say thank you to FIBA uh, because last August uh, they approved a two-year provisional period so this August 2015 will be one year anniversary. Hooray! Whoop whoop! Uh, this is huge history and uh, just huge for so many basketball players worldwide that want to play their sport and they want to do it uh, with proudly with what they choose to wear on their heads. So we're just so uh, happy regarding this decision. And we just would love to prove to FIBA uh, that it is safe for the player and the opponent, that everybody is safe with the... Um, head covering and uh, we are just so happy about this and we're looking forward to the final decision next August 2016 from FIBA. Um, currently right now what the clarification is uh, all head coverings are allowed in FIBA play uh, so professional players can play overseas in their country if they're playing in France, Turkey, um, doesn't matter what country you play and you can do so wearing the hijab. As far as um, once the, the two-year provisional period is up we will be waiting on FIBA to decide if they will allow it on the international level where if you want to play for your national team you can play against other countries. Uh, so an American can play for the USA national team and uh, somebody from Qatar can play for the Qatari national team um, wearing their headscarf if they choose to do so both men and women this is the great part so um, we hope and we we truly truly uh, are asking for FIBA to allow this for so that all men women uh, doesn't matter where you come from that you can place uh, basketball and represent your country proudly um, so I think this is a, a huge first step and I'm just so grateful to everybody uh, for for your messages, for your kind words. Uh, truly, this this uh, journey, this part of my life has been interesting and you have been um, the light source at some points. And uh, to all the girls that have written me, inboxed me, and shared your stories, I'm speechless. Thank you for those... Uh, so for those words, for, for for opening your heart up and telling me the truth of what you've gone through. And I know it hasn't been easy, but um, you know, hopefully through this, this is for you. So that you can uh, continue to pursue your dreams and goals and sweat, blood and tears for the uh, sport that you love. While also representing uh, the faith that you love and, and you know, pleasing God. That this is, this is the goal. And I hope that you'll be able to play. Um, to know how from Sweden that wrote me this morning, you truly inspired me to uh, make this video. And all the other girls that have asked me to make a video. Um, I'm here. I hope that you like the video. Um, and, uh, and I hope that you feel connected to me because I feel connected to you. And I love you girls. I love all the support. And I truly hope that you will continue playing basketball and, and, and play professionally and achieve your goals, achieve your dreams. Uh, inshallah, God willingly, you work hard and you can attain anything. And don't ever quit. That's the message here. Don't ever quit on your dreams and your beliefs. You can do it. As far as me, uh, for the last season, I was playing for Jeddah United in Saudi Arabia, uh, which is not under FIBA. Uh, for next season, uh, stay tuned to, to see to see what's going to happen. Uh, definitely would want to play for all the girls worldwide in a, in a FIBA organized team. Um, inshallah, we will see. Uh, I've had a pleasure of working with the, with the coolest kids in Saudi Arabia, uh, teaching them physical education and the importance of health and also uh, coaching the basketball. Uh, truly my passions and what I feel that that uh, I can give to this world. And inshallah, I pray that you guys have a wonderful last 10 days of Ramadan and uh, enjoy the rest of your month of uh, July for everybody else. Um, to everybody that has written, uh, the news reporters, the uh, just everybody, everybody alike from A to Z, once again, thank you guys so much for your support through this 
year. It's been uh, many ups and downs, but uh, exciting times and exciting times ahead. And we look forward to hearing FIBA's official uh, decision next year, August 2016. Um, if you have any questions for me, write me, inbox me. I want to hear your stories. I want to hear your questions. And to everybody else that has negative comments, and uh, I totally understand you're entitled to your opinions. And I thank you for those as well because I've grown. I've seen different sides of thinking. Um, and, uh, you know, we're all here uh, on this planet, and I hope that we can live peacefully and uh, play some hoops and shoot some ball. So, yeah, it's, uh, have a great rest of your day, great rest of your month, and I'll talk to you soon. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings.